My name is Matt Whalen. I am a postdoctoral scholar at University of British Columbia and the Hakai Institute. And during this BioBlitz event that's happening this week, I'm one of the principal investigators for the science side of it. And we're out here today right on the edge of False Creek here in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So really a BioBlitz in general is, is a, an intensive survey of life um, in a particular location in a short amount of time. It's this idea you send people out and it's a flurry of activity and you try to build a species list uh, of all the organisms that you can find in the region. So for this BioBlitz of False Creek, we're using a variety of different techniques to assess and quantify biodiversity in the area. Um, from the bottom of the seafloor up to the terrestrial habitat where you see us sitting now. Um, so right now there's a boat that's out there with a remotely operated vehicle, an ROV, that's going to be deployed um, here in front of Science World and also out near the mouth of False Creek. And that will enable us to get video footage of what's living right on the bottom of the seafloor. Um, on the land side, we just completed a survey of birds around the seawall of False Creek. And we got a, you know, approximately six to 800 bird observations with the help of two different teams. Right around the margin of the shoreline, we have a couple of projects uh, to look at organisms that are living uh, in the water, but close to the surface. So we put something out called settlement plates. They're just small tiles that hang off of a dock at a, about a meter underwater, and we let them soak for a couple months, and things naturally recruit and, and grow onto those surfaces, and we can come back and see how many species there are um, in that amount of time that they've had to grow. And then lastly, uh, we've, we've sent a boat out to collect samples of water that we filter, and then we take that back to the lab, extract any fragments of DNA that are in the water, and we can make a list of, of all the species just from about a one liter jug of water. Surprisingly, with that technique, we call it eDNA, or environmental DNA. We can catalog uh, life across the tree of life from bacteria all the way up to the larger fish um, that we see here in False Creek. For instance, um, some divers recently saw spiny dogfish, which is a type of shark, and we fully expect to be able to pick up a signal of their DNA in the water. We're really excited about the possibility for bioblitzes like the one here in False Creek to not only collect vital information about the status of biodiversity, but also to engage with the public towards fostering ocean literacy and inspiring and engaging the next generation of stewards and maybe even future scientists who might come back to places like False Creek and be able to tell us how biodiversity is changing into the future. So this BioBlitz of False Creek is, is possible because of uh, several partnerships that we've engaged with involving the Hakai Institute, False Creek Friends Society, the City of Vancouver is also a core partner, Nature Canada, Vancouver Maritime Museum, Biologica Limited, the Emerald Sea Protection Society, the BD Biodiversity Museum, and the University of British Columbia.